If your home is protected by closed circuit television, doorbell cam, or some other form of security surveillance, then you know that some pretty strange stuff can be captured on camera. Whether it's an unexpected animal encounter or criminal activity, it's these moments you're probably thinking, gosh, I'm glad I made the investment. Truth is, these measures of security work to keep everyone safe, but they can also capture things you would never believe, like this. 15 Weird Things Caught on CCTV and Security Cameras Mysterious Flock of Sheep For 12 days, in a farm city in Inner Mongolia, a flock of sheep in China was caught walking around in a circle on the farm's CCTV. They were literally moving round and round like this for days. According to the farm owner, it started with just a few sheep before other members of the flock joined in. Her jaw dropped when she saw the scene. But honestly, would your reaction be any different? Were the sheep possessed, hypnotized, or what? There are a lot of pins on this farm, but these guys in pin 13 were the only ones displaying this. Some people say that this action was caused by a bacterial disease called circling disease. Strange, right? Affected animals are usually anorectic and depressed. We wonder if these sheep even stopped to eat. After the video went viral, Professor Matt Bell has an explanation for this odd behavior. He believes the sheep circled because they'd been in the pen for too long and were stressed out. So the sheep striding around in a continuous clockwise motion is a result of them being stressed and tired of being in a pen. They were frustrated about being grounded in that place. Maybe it's a call for help. Because to do that for 12 days is a lot if you ask us. Now the farm owner and the rest of the world have heard their cries. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. CCTV captures what no one was supposed to see, a dog appearing to be a ghost. But does that explain the strange way this pooch is oddly suspended in the air? Much like today, canines throughout the ancient world were heavily involved in the lives of humans as faithful companions hunting partners, and important parts of family units. However, the dog's role as a spiritual guide was more prominent in the past than in modern times. For instance, many Native American tribes honored dogs in religious ceremonies, at times burying them with their deceased owners to provide companionship and help the soul pass on to the other side. If you believe in the supernatural in some sense, you may also believe in the existence of ghosts and their ability to surround or inhabit physical places. If that's true, given their ability to sense beyond human capabilities, can dogs see ghosts? Unfortunately, there's no actual scientific research to support that dogs can see ghosts or sense any paranormal activity. But this idea that dogs have held inherent power throughout history and across cultures suggests that modern pet parents are not the first humans to consider whether or not dogs can see ghosts. Is your dog staring and barking at seemingly nothing? Does it make you wonder if he sees a ghost? Or is there some other explanation? Comment below using hashtag sweet topic. Crop circle left by strange light. On August 10th, 2020, a farmer from Brazil woke up one morning to see that his field had been destroyed by a crop circle. Like every other person who does, the farmer suspected vandals were responsible. He checked his CCTV camera and there were no vandals or anybody at all. Instead, there was a strange, bright light moving over his farm, and this appeared in every angle of the video. The light was moving independently over the farm. Immediately, he knew it was something unusual. For a long time, he tried to figure out what it was. He took pictures of the farm and watched the video a million times. Then he told his friends about it. His friend was also amazed and found it so interesting that he advised the farmer to post it online. Like the Brazilian farmer and his friend, the internet was curious. Some said it looked like a meteorite. A meteorite is a kind of fragment from a star. But let's not go into that. According to one commenter, there were two lights reflected in the water, moving in opposite directions, and it was strange that that was even possible. Other commenters believe that the meteorite might have been real, but the farmer did the crop circles himself. What do you think happened that night? Ghost Lady, do you think it's possible that the past, present, and future interject sometimes? Like the past keeps leaking into the future 
in the future into the present, the clip-on Kimberly Carlisle's CCTV camera from the night of October 17th makes you think about the possibility of this happening. An apparition of a woman in a Victorian-style dress was seen walking past a parked car outside her home in the U.S. You can see the woman holding up her dress as she walks by, a trait that's common to women from that period, sometime in the 1800s. Now, this CCTV is a motion-activated camera, meaning that the camera is activated at the exact moment that these events took place. She got an alert on her phone, and as you should have guessed already, she was freaked out. Some viewers and commenters claimed it was probably fog, some sort of mist, or people were smoking in the car. But the figure of the lady is pretty clear, if you ask us. You can make out her head and hairdo. You can't miss the lifting up of the dress as to not trip on it. It also looks like there's a child with her or an animal, maybe. No matter what people say, we know that's a ghostly figure. Except, of course, we're proven wrong by an expert ghost scientist if there's anything like that. <laughs> Missouri UFO Could it be a UFO? What's this big black stuff floating in the air so close to the ground? Spotted on a door cam on the 13th of November in a town called Raytown in Missouri. This object cruised at a controlled rate of speed. It looks a bit transparent if it's not supposed to be seen. But we can see it clearly, very clearly in fact. There's also light reflecting off it, making it very outstanding. The object looks like a group of bats or a swarm of insects or locusts. However, it's moving too slowly. If it's none of these things, then what is it? Some sort of secret aircraft with light bending technology? A UFO. Some people say that it can't be classified as a UFO because the sighting doesn't meet certain factors, like there's no detailed eyewitness account and no approximate location and date and time were recorded. Oh well, it was a good guess though. On the other hand, a lot of people actually believe that it's a bunch of little creatures clumped together. They were probably on their way somewhere or on a mission or just having fun in the air. And here we are trying to analyze the whole thing. Well, whatever it is, it's your one strange sighting. Shadow figure. Darren was home alone playing games on his console when his wife was at work. He skipped his chores to play the game. His wife was probably checking in on her husband when she picked up her phone and saw this. Their home camera is set to snap pictures as it's activated by motion detection. So, Darren's wife was probably alerted when the figure appeared. The tall, dark figure looks demonic and sinister in nature. And those horns? It seems like the devil himself or a pretty huge, tall feline. From the video, it seems like Darren doesn't even know that this thing is beside him. Does this mean that it was only detected by the camera? Some say it's a spirit animal, and some say it's just a spirit. But there's no scientific explanation or anything. It's simply a strange and creepy sighting, and it's not an ordinary shadow. If it was, it's a shadow of what? Nothing. So where did it come from? Could the house be haunted? The wife must have called her husband immediately and they must have gone around the house searching for the black creature. Well, we don't know if they ever sighted it again. One thing we do know is that sleeping that night would have been pretty difficult for Darren and his wife. <laughs> guy Misses Dust Devil We don't know anything about this guy, but he seems like the kind of person who wouldn't wake up if the house he's in was on fire. There's a dust devil twirling behind him, and he doesn't notice it. That's not the kind of thing one should miss, especially if it's happening right before you. Or should we say, behind you? Dust devils are swirling masses of air that form in the desert and send sand spinning. A dust devil can be about 3,281 feet tall. Yeah, it's that high. Dust devils can be formed in flat terrains and hot conditions, in cloud skies or slightly cloudy conditions, and in cool temperatures. Wind will not keep the dust devil stable. It needs a cool atmosphere and hot surface. In fact, cool air kills the dust devil. They're usually harmless, but rare severe dust devils have caused damage to lives and properties and have caused even death. On the 14th of September 2000, a dust devil destroyed several tents, stands and booths in the Coconino County Fairgrounds in Flagstaff, Arizona. In Lebanon, Maine, in May 2003, a dust devil lifted the roof off a two-story building causing it to collapse and kill someone inside. In Australia, the dust devil was called 
Willy Willy. In Ireland, they're referred to as fairy winds. So this man missed the entire passing of a fairy wind. Unbelievable. <laughs> security guard meets ghost. The only normal explanation we can give for this is that the security guard was pulling a prank. Here's what happened. He was on a night duty in a hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina, when the doors opened and a guest came in. The guard took his paper and pen and wrote down the visitor's name. He even welcomed them and pointed out the wheelchairs for him. But guess what? There weren't any guests. The CCTV footage shows the man talking to himself. In fact, no one walked through the door in the first place. The guard had seen a ghost. It was later confirmed that the man he'd seen had died in the hospital the day before. How crazy is that? The man had literally interacted with a ghost. Many viewers believed that the guard was bored and wanted to cheer himself and his audience up. They believed he'd opened the door and pretended to write something and talk to someone. If that's true, that's some weird security guard because it was midnight. That's not the funniest joke to crack. Well, the guard was shocked to find out that nobody logged into the hospital at that point in night. He must have felt like the doctors were the ones pulling a prank before he saw the footage. What would you do if you realized you'd interacted with a ghost? We don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Neighbor in Attic Maybe we should install cameras in our houses. This man, Robert Havrilla, was caught sneaking into his neighbor's attic in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The footage shows him removing the false wall that he engineered into Jerome Kennedy's ceiling, climbing onto the roof above their 10-month-old daughter's crib and lying on some planks that he'd put there. If that isn't creepy, we don't know what is. For a long time, Kennedy had heard noises from above his bedroom and had seen flashlights coming through his vents. Little did he know it was his 69-year-old neighbor spying on his family. When the police questioned him, he denied going into the attic. He even denied entering the property and said he could only get into their space with a ladder. But he'd been caught live on tape drilling a hole into his neighbor's vent and watching them for about a half an hour. Kennedy had seen noticeable drill holes in the common brick wall that he shared with Havrilla but had ignored them because the older man had said he'd been doing construction. Yeah, construction to intrude on your privacy. Kennedy reported the neighbor and he was tried in court for stalking and trespassing. He got probation and was asked to pay minimal restitution to the Kennedys for the damage to their property. We really don't know what the family did after that, but if we were part of that family, we'd move out and into a house where we don't have to share the walls. <laughs> Stick figure. Don't worry, we're as clueless as you. The internet still wonders what this pale humanoid figure caught on a security camera in the Red River Gorge area of Kentucky creeping outside is. The footage was posted on a Facebook group by Douglas Windsor McCloney III, who's a resident of Moorhead, Kentucky, and claims there's two more security camera footage of the creature creeping in the dark. The creature doesn't move like a human being. It moves like its kneecaps are backwards, McCloney explains, and it looks like Smeagol of Lord of the Rings. While some speculated that the figure in the video was some kind of new unknown cryptid, some believe it was a person in a complete white bodysuit who was either drunk, high, or mentally ill. Some other people think it's an alien or a pale crawler. While it's safer to believe it's a human being, it doesn't add up. Humans don't walk that way or even carry themselves in that manner. Although the video is black and white, we can clearly see that the humanoid seems to maintain an unnatural, semi-crouching stance. When stuff like this pops up on the internet, there are a set of people who try to find a logical explanation and debunk every paranormal one. These skeptics argue that the creature was a digital manipulation of a real person. Well, they may be right. Whatever the real explanation is, the video remains one very creepy one. Dogs attack car. Cat lovers would always argue that cats are better than dogs. This is one of the many reasons why. It seems as though the dogs are possessed by some unexplained force, or they were trained to be very violent. It's a good thing no one passed by as they were raging. Who knows what the animals would have done to the person? People believe that breeds such as the Pitbull and Rottweiler are naturally aggressive, but the truth is that breed has little to do with a dog's aggressive behavior in comparison to the owner-dependent factor. So, when a dog has badly behaved, it's 80% the fault of its owner. Back to the video. Imagine waking up and seeing your car is now a wreck. 
you'd probably think it was an attack by human beings. And when you eventually watch the clip and find out it was dogs, how do you explain it to, let's say, your mom or even worse, your boss? How do you explain that your car was destroyed by two dogs? Who's going to believe that? Your boss will think that's the most humorous excuse ever. We know some dogs can be violent, but not this violent that they tear a car apart. What could the owner of the car have done to them? <laughs> Flooded Hospital Thanks to the Good Samaritan Hospital and Kearney's security cameras, the moment when water cascades through the doors and windows was captured. In the video, we see the hospital staff and visitors standing on the staircase above the cafeteria, when boom, a flood of water pushes the doors open and water bursts into the room. The employees were surveying the already soaked dining area, probably wondering what a mess it was and how it was going to be cleaned up. They had no idea there was more water on the way. The flood swept tables, chairs, and benches away. It's a good thing no one was standing close to that door. The local experts explained that Kearney's sewer system had been overwhelmed by storms, during which the town got almost four inches of rain. The caption of the 33-second clip the hospital had posted on their Facebook page read they couldn't put into words how bad the conditions were. According to them, the security camera footage was just a glimpse into the series of events that unfolded by morning. Luckily for them, no patient, staff, or physician was injured in the hospital, and in a few days, the hospital restored all of its services. Three Million Dollar Revenge now this is a funny story. In the video, we can see an angry guy in dark clothing and sunglasses walk into the Opera Galley in Aspen, Colorado, tear an art piece with a knife, and then run out. Apparently, that piece he tore happened to be his dad's 2 million euro dollar painting, and he'd gone to the gallery for the sole purpose of slashing it. In fact, he'd flown about 10,000 miles under a false ID just to do it. He wedges the door open and heads straight to the painting titled Untitled 2004 by artist Christopher Wool. The guy, Nicholas Moreland, had traveled from London to Denver via Minneapolis, remember, with a fake ID. He then rented a car to drive to Aspen and, two days later, flew back to London. He'd really just come to vandalize his dad's pricey piece of artwork. Initially, Harold Morley, Nicholas's dad, told the police that only a few people knew about his connection to the untitled 2004 piece and that he and his son owned a company that bought and sold artwork out of Barbados. He later refuted the claim that he worked with his son and even said they didn't recognize the guy in the camera footage. Nicholas even sent a letter to the gallery saying that his father's company wouldn't hold them responsible for the slashing. Um, hello? You were caught on camera. Nicholas denied being in America at the time, even though the authorities had investigated and found out he had been. <laughs> Snake at the door. We talked about how nobody would believe the tale about dogs destroying your car. Well, this is way more unbelievable. A snake scaled outside the home of a Texan woman and rang the doorbell with its face. Trust us, it's a true story. The security camera footage from the house in Converse, Texas shows the giant snake slithering up to the door at 1 a.m. on a Sunday and raising its face to ring the doorbell. According to Belinda Muniz, the homeowner, they'd heard the doorbell, checked out the ring, and it was a snake. You never expect to see a snake ringing your bell. A ghost, maybe, but a snake? Muniz says that the video should remind everyone that snakes are out there and we should be extra careful. Some believe that the snake was cold outside and was seeking warmth. The home is near a field by the San Antonio River Authority water plant in Converse. Maybe it was coming from there. But why seek warmth in her house? And since when do snakes ring the doorbell before entering anywhere? That must be one special house. Ghost gets in taxi. After the tsunami in Japan in 2011, Taxi drivers in Ishinomaki, where over 6,000 people died during the disaster, claimed to have had ghosts in their cars. The drivers who were interviewed said initially they were convinced they were picking up real, live people. But eventually, the passengers disappeared. One driver picked up a woman and explained that the tsunami had wiped out the area, and she replied, Have I died? He turned to look at her, and she was no longer there. 
The seat was empty. Another driver told the tale of a man who's asked to be taken to the mountain and disappeared before they got there. With this backstory, you should understand the horror people felt when this ghost woman was captured on camera entering a taxi behind a man. Where did she appear from? And how was she seen on camera and not in real life? Oh well, the drivers have accepted their fate. They understand that ghosts consider their cabs as private rooms where they can reveal themselves and express their bitterness about dying so young or in such a manner. One driver even told an interviewer that it's not strange to see a ghost and the next time he sees one, he'll accept it as his passenger. Dog Fights Hood There are two types of dogs on this list, the type that tears cars apart and the type that thinks its owner's hood is a toy. This video is adorable to watch and the dog owner's laughter is super infectious. She probably trusts her dog not to harm her. How else can she be so calm about the whole thing? The woman and her dog were returning home from a walk. It was a regular day and a regular activity. Everything was going smoothly until the golden retriever got a hold of her coat hood and refused to let it go. Even well-trained pets can be unpredictable sometimes. The video proves that. Thinking it was a toy, the canine pulled at the fluff lining of the woman's hood, causing her to fall as she tried to pry his mouth away. The woman's reaction is as hilarious as the dog pulling at her hood. She pleads with the dog, whose name we learn is Grissom, that this is not how she wants to go out. I mean, nobody wants to go out this way. We wonder how the situation was sorted. Did Grissom eventually let go, or did a neighbor intervene? Whichever way, the dog owner must have had a good laugh when she watched the video doorbell footage after the incident. Strange things happen all the time. You get lucky if you're able to catch it on camera as the guys on the list did. Which of these creeped you out the most? <laughs>